Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Dell Technologies World 2019. I'm Stu Miniman, my co-host Dave Vellante. Two sets, three days, wall-to-wall -wall coverage, everything going on in Dell Technologies. Really happy to welcome back to the program Sam Grocott, who's the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing at Dell EMC. Sam, hey, thanks so much for joining us. I am us. psyched to be here. I'm okay. so excited. So, uh, you, know, you know, Dave and I will talk. You know, we, we come to these shows, and back in the EMC world days, uh, it was like, okay, let's walk through this massive portfolio and all the different areas. Yeah. Last year we talked, there's a lot of simplification going on. Yep. And uh, boy, this year it felt like you know, massive infusion of cloud and talked to a lot of your team about how what's really happening now, it's not cloud washing, we're well past that. You know, yes. EMC and Dell both you know, rode through a lot of that today, but you know, take us inside the, the, the keynote, putting these things together, and it's still quite a massive portfolio. It, it is, it is, and I, I get the honor of being the kind of the marketing front for the entire Dell EMC portfolio. So whether it's storage, server, networking, data protection, and now hyperconverged conversion, now cloud, our newest member of kind of the family, so to speak, um, I get the opportunity to kind of represent that, which to your earlier point, creates a challenge as well, because it's such a broad portfolio of technology. So anytime we get the opportunity to come to a Dell Technologies world or VMworld or other big event, we want to make sure we we shine the brightest light on the products that are both um, new and innovative as well as continue to grow at a, at a high rate. All so right. so it's Sam, always a challenge. I, I wonder if I'm seeing a little bit of trend in there. So a year ago, PowerMax was unveiled. Yep. Uh, we talked to the data protection team, it's PowerProtect. Uh, the, the, the networking stuff got rebranded with Power and they've got the, the shirts with the switch. flip the switch, Power, power Switch, switch uh, on there. Logical. So. You know, am I sensing a trend here? Is the, when we simplify the portfolio, power is the brand that lives up? Are, are you the father of power? I, 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 I am to some degree, yes. It was, it was kind of the genesis of an idea that we built on the original Power Edge brand, uh, which predate, predated my arrival here. But we do, look we, look, we look at the portfolio from a strategic lens and we are looking at the various different solutions we have across all the storage, high-end, mid-range, unstructured NAS, to the server product lines, now we've powered up the data protection with PowerProtect. Um, to your point, Power Switch is now on, so we've, we've turned that one on. And we will continue to power up the rest of the portfolio. So you're definitely onto something. There is a trend here, multiple points on that trend line, and I think you, you, you should be excited to know there's a lot more to come there too. So when people talk about large portfolios, they always talk about integration and sort of threads across the, the an architecture that maybe brings them together. From a marketing standpoint and messaging standpoint, what are some of those threads that you're weaving through the portfolio? Right, so one of the unique opportunities we have with such a broad portfolio is we want to make sure we have very strong, hard-hitting product messaging. So of course you've got the typical storage and data protection server messaging that talk about the key customer dynamics and trends that are going on at the individual product level. Now what's, what's newer this year and what you'll start to see more of as we go forward is we're now taking that product approach now going vertical with that, and talking about solutions and workloads and applications. So the big opportunity we have, and you saw that with the introduction of the Dell Technology Cloud, as well as the Dell Technologies Unified Workspace, it was we're now telling a broader solution story that includes, frankly, many products within Dell EMC and many products across the, the broader Dell Technology family that provide more of a business outcome, solution outcome discussion for our customers, complementing the strong kind of just individual piece part discussions which we have to have. Yeah, and, and Sam, you know, we, we've looked at some of those solutions for a number of years. You know, VMware and Pivotal and, and the storage products have been put together for a lot. Something I saw more than ever is you know, they're, they're baked together. It's, yeah. you know, VCF on top of it, the whole SDDC stack. Mm -hmm. You know, big day one keynote was a lot yes. of about the talk of, you know, the better together right. as the pieces. Give us a little bit of insight as to, you know, how closely, you know, Dell and the, the other uh, logos on the banner are working together. Yeah, if you think about over the last few years, better together has been a big focus of ours, especially as we've come together as one large company. But I would say we lived in the same neighborhood, you know? Now we live in the same house. And, and it's, it's about 
how do we have the best integration between one product line or one room of the house with our neighboring room of the house or another product line? And you, you've seen that uh, most recently with VxRail, with um, uh, the vSAN technology and the Dell EMC infrastructure, but now you're seeing it even broader than that. Dell Technology Cloud is my favorite one to talk about, of course, and that is the com bringing together the VMware Cloud Foundation suite of software, this amazing set of software combined with this market leading, segment leading Dell MC infrastructure to provide that end to end turnkey on premise hybrid cloud, which now can go to Azure or Amazon. Yeah, Dave gives a whole nother meaning to the noisy neighbor problem, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got to ask you so when you well, were. Like living in, it, it's a fun house, it's a very fun house. So when you were with Isilon, you had a relationship obviously with VMware, right? Yes. You got the, the SDK and you would do it. Then, you, of course, you get acquired by EMC. VMware is sort of a sister company. Um, oftentimes, EMC would argue, well, our integration is better than NetApps or whoever else's, and you know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, fine, compete. But today, there seems to be a conscious effort to really drive integration across the portfolio using VMware as the linchpin. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could talk about that in terms of the strategy and what it means in terms of product marketing. Yeah, and so it really depends on the use case or workload or solution. Certainly in the cloud, I think, Dave, you're dead on. Uh, the VMware Virtual uh, Cloud Foundation Suite mm -hmm. is the linchpin, is the operating hub for our hybrid cloud strategy sitting on top of our infrastructure. So, so that is absolutely the case. But if you look at other solutions, there maybe there's another uh, member of this extended family that should be the point or should be the lead of of kind of the charge into a specific workload or use case. We'll evaluate those on a case by case basis. I think the important thing though is the strategy stops, starts from the top with Pat and Jeff really working with both the VMware and Dell EMC teams. It is super clear the prioritization, the focus and the alignment to go build these combined solutions together. We may not have had that alignment in the past, so if you look back historically, um, we probably didn't execute as, as well or as fast as we wanted. We are now operating in absolute alignment and synchronization on the strategy, which makes it really easy for the teams to operate, whether it's a marketing team, an engineering team, a services team, we are absolutely in lockstep. I'm fascinated by this, why? What's changed? What is it that Dell has brought to this culture that has enabled that and catalyzed yeah. that? I think, you know, starting at the top with Michael, but certainly Pat and Jeff spent the time, I think Jeff, over a year and a half ago, they sat down and said, here are our key strategic tenants, Here's what we need to go do as better together. We think we can move faster in the market. We aligned on those priorities and we execute on those every single day. So I think that day one uh, alignment has really helped to make the change it's, very, very quickly. It sounds so simple, but if, if the assumptions that they make at the top don't pan out, then you have to pivot. And you see it all the time in the tech business. Yep. All right, we're going to take that hill. Okay, right. we took that hill, but nobody's buying that hill. Yeah. So now we got to go over here, and we got to, it's constant shifting. Yeah. So is that the secret sauce, or at least part of it? Is that they got it right early on, well, or it, the, fast course correction? Or? Yeah, so I think the hero example that we've had the most runtime with is the VX Rail, which I definitely yeah. think we've hit a grand slam right. uh, with that one. Now we're trying to replicate that in a more complex solution in something that's not just in an appliance, it's more broader, it's more strategic. You're now extending into uh, uh, partners like public cloud players. So it, it's much more, it, it's very, very important to have a plan, have a strategy, align to that, execute, but by no means are we heads down and just going to take the hill. If, if the environment changes, if the facts change, Jeff, Pat, the, the extended teams, we constantly reevaluate and we, we, we're nimble and agile, we'll, we'll shift if we have to. So Sam, we've spent a lot of time digging in with the storage team here. Yep. I went through the, 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 the expo hall, lots of gear you can touch, lots of demos you can do. There's some people, you know, went to the keynote and they're like, oh my gosh, this is not EMC world. There's not that much storage. It kind of got glossed over when you talk about cloud and converged and all these things there. Talk about how you balance that internally and from, yep. a, from a messaging standpoint. You know, where is the message in the state of storage you know, today in 2019? Yeah, so, uh, so yesterday we really focused on the Dell Technology solutions. Dell Tech Cloud, Dell Tech uh, Unified Workspace. Today's keynote, we really pivoted back to the infrastructure conversation. This is where you saw the new enhancements with the Unity XT, the Isilon, 
um, continuing to advance data protection with the new Power Protect announcements. So I, I would say day two probably felt a little bit more familiar for the traditional EMC role teams. We had great demos showcasing the new capabilities. Uh, we were able to uh, have great customer examples, how they're taking advantage of these new capabilities. But with a portfolio so broad at, Dell Tech, at the Dell Technologies level, never mind the Dell EMC level, you have to pick and choose on how you message to your customers, your partners, to all of you, of course, as well. So what we're trying to kind of align a solution story that's then complemented by, by great, best of breed, individual piece parts. And I think you saw that balance over day one and day two today. How do you measure your success from a, from a marketing standpoint? I mean, is it just re revenue? I mean, I've obviously won, but it's sort of removed. But I mean, what other metrics do you use to sort of inform your strategy? Yeah, so um, again, I, I, I have the pleasure of working both for Jeff Clark and Allison Dew. So I actually have two bosses, which is a lot of fun at times. Um, Literally? Seriously, yeah, yeah. Okay. I report both, uh, dual report to both of them. And what, what's great about that is there is no air gap between the marketing uh, uh, accountability, the marketing um, goals and objectives with the business uh, within Dell EMC. Uh, so look, the ultimate uh, factor that we look at in addition to revenue is market share. How are we competing in the markets that we select to compete in and are we taking share or not? We've had a great, uh, last, uh, uh, great run over the last year and a half on that front. So that goal is the same goal that we drive within marketing. Yes, there's things like share of voice and pipeline growth, you know, traditional marketing uh, factors that we count within marketing to evaluate how things are working, but we are absolutely focused on the only goal, and the only goal that matters is hitting the plan, hitting the revenue growth, and, and taking share from our competitors. And, and so the, so use market share, I presume you use IDC data, as, at least in part, maybe, maybe Gartner yeah. data. It's a, it's a combination, them. yes. Okay, how's the market data? Because this market's so huge, we heard today with Pat Gelsinger was talking today about two trillion dollar market, yeah. you know, and I say to myself, wow, how do you even measure the, you know, the various segments in such a big market when there's been such consolidation, but what have you found in terms of the consistency and the accuracy of the data in terms of how it's translated to, I mean, ultimately you can, you can tell by your revenue growth comparing it to others' revenue growth, so there's that measure, but right. is it pretty much stable and you're able to, is it, it is. reasonably we, predictable? We, and you know, I, I won't get into the specifics, but we have a very detailed process on how we measure our success or not. Um, we do use various uh, resources in terms of IDC and others to kind of measure and judge how the market's going. I would say it's an input, it's not the exact science that we would certainly, certainly follow. Um, but to your, the earlier discussion on do things change, obviously market predictions, if I were to tell you three years from now what the market is, you know, I would be a, a genius and a Nostradamus and I would be predicting a lot of other things, it changes constantly. What we do know is the overall market is growing very quickly. It's in an unpredictable state of growth because of the amount of data that is growing. We think from a Dell EMC infrastructure standpoint, they're just going to require a lot more infrastructure. So we feel very good about where the market is going and our role within this data era that we talked about today. Uh, but the, whether it's us or the market predictors, everybody is constantly adjusting because you just don't know. And you have other sources, you have obviously the channel, you have your, you talk to customers, I mean, yep. okay, et cetera. Tom Sweet was telling us that the, I think it's IDC, he was saying that IT is going to grow, IT spending is going to grow 2x uh, uh, GDP, which I, I'm intrigued by, and, and I believe it. Yeah. I just, historically, with such a big market, yeah. it's been aligned with GDP, but it does feel like it's, it's well, accelerating uh, faster. You look at the growth, I mean, look at the, the tech trends, uh, 5G, the emergence of the IOT, Internet of Things at the edge, uh, the advancements within uh, the modernizing of infrastructure, the move to hyper-converged, these new cloud solutions, as we look to provide an on-prem cloud, you look at the public cloud vendors are now, have taken notice and said, hey, you know what, it's not all one way or the other way. We got to get into that game as well. So you're seeing a tremendous amount of growth, a tremendous amount of opportunity. At the end of the day, how are we helping our customers digitally transform is our goal and our mission, and I think we've got a great track record of doing that in the recent Well, the other years. thing is your size, a little bit of growth, there's a lot of cash. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. so Sam, I want to give you the final word. You talk about that digital transformation. Give yeah. us a little bit of insight to the customers you're talking about, where they are in their journeys, is kind of the biggest challenges and yeah. uh, opportunities that they're facing today. Yeah, look, we've been talking about digital, uh, digital transformation uh, for a few years now. I would say we're still in the early innings. You certainly have a lot more customers that are taking advantage of digital transformation in typically lines of business 
but not necessarily wholesale transformation. So I would say we're seeing a lot more, uh, customers are seeing a lot more success in line of business conversion to digitally transform, but the next wave of transformation is whole, whole, wholesale business transformation. You got a few highlights here and there, but for companies that are not born in this world, but are more of a traditional business, it's the early, early inning, so I think it creates a tremendous opportunity for everyone. All right, well, Sam, first of all, congratulations. Uh, we, we know it's not just the event, but all the different pieces that come through take uh, more than a year for all these pieces together, so th uh, congratulations so much. Yeah, on all thank the you, progress. I love the partnership. Looking forward to seeing you guys at the next big event. Awesome. All, all right, uh, for Dave Vellante, I'm Stu Miniman. Be back with more coverage here from Dell Technologies World 2019 in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching theCUBE.